anyway i'm back up at the caravan and i've come to do uh, another job uh, a couple of years ago um, we had uh, obviously a tv in the cupboard that you're in now and uh, i bought a tv bracket for it and at the time uh, as i bought it what was going through my head was what my wife always says to me you buy cheap you buy it twice and that's exactly what i did i was out with my brother and he said oh look at this tv bracket looks quite good quite cheap it was only about about six quid so i bought it and it has failed us so what i've done i've come to replace it and i've bought one of these this is a um vision plus triple arm bracket uh, which is a lot better so we're gonna have a look at this one and uh, make this one in the caravan so this is the bracket let's open the box and have a look I got it from uh, Preston Caravans uh, 38.95 which is not too bad I did look on Amazon and it was about 35 pounds uh, but with delivery because there was charge and delivery it brought it over to 40 pounds so I was there uh, I just thought I'd get that one so let's see what you get in the box instructions I'll do what every bloke does and I'll put them over there. Um, it's got quite a few fittings with it. We'll just have a look at those. But this is the main bracket um, that fits on. And as you can see, it's a triple bracket that swings out. Um, the best thing about this one that I like is the mounting plate actually fixes to the te television so that we can lift the television out. Now, the last one that we had, uh, the television was fixed to the mount and we couldn't get it out uh, if we wanted to well we could but it was obviously taking the screws off with this one the the mount actually just slides off and lifts out which will be a lot easier um, and then um, it's got a lock as well if I open this uh, other box and get this out of here and what that actually does that mounts to the back and stops the arm swinging out so that will fit as you look at the bracket that will fit on the wall i'm not sure whether i'm going to fit that on um, because uh, i'm going to be taking the television off when we're in transit so um, i'm not sure i'm going to need that and i'm not overly sure where i'm going to mount it to be honest with you uh, this is the cover that we're going to mount it in now the last one that i had i actually put this piece in the middle here to mount the, the bracket to, but I'm just gonna extend the arm on this one and see how far it comes out. We've got a 22 inch television, uh, so I just want to have a, have a play around with the mounting and see where I can put it, whether I'm gonna put it back on that piece of wood that I've put in there, or maybe put it on the back plate there, whether it'll, uh, it'll extend far enough. What I've got to make sure is there's enough clearance to, to swing the telly in if I need to. I've decided to put it on this on this piece of wood that I'd already got in there at the back um, because it's just going to be a little bit easier to get it in and out of the cabinet. Um, so what I'm going to do is just while it's just up there on the uh, on the back of the bracket, I'm just sort of going to roughly mark the height of where I want it. So I've roughly made a mark at the height where I want the bottom of the bracket. And what I'm going to do is uh, just get my spirit level on, on there and make sure it's nice and level and just draw myself a line roughly where I need it the old bracket what I did rather than um, screwing it to there I've got these these bolts which I'm going to use again to go right through um, and then it obviously it'll bolt it up nice and tightly and the brackets not going to go anywhere so this bottom half of the bracket here is straight so I'm going to use that as my straight edge and then put the spirit level up against it. I'm going to do it from the back here so I can see it a little bit better uh, and make sure that that's level and just move that till it's level. So what I'm going to do is hold the bracket there and then I'm going to mark where I want the hole. I've decided to use some uh, bigger bolts because they've got lock nuts on them uh, so it's just going to be a little bit more secure. Need marker point. I'm using a wood bit so it's got a point on it which is quite easy and you can put that on there okay so i've got my two holes now and what i'm going to do is put the bracket in place i've got a couple of washers to put on the back uh, so we'll get the get the bracket just going to put the top one in first what i've had to do is just because i'm using bigger bolts i've just had to make these holes a little bit bigger than it fits through but it's uh, it's not been a major problem 
I want to put the washer on first. And I say I'm going to use lock nuts and then obviously it, it definitely won't come off. Just while that's in position there, I'm just going to put this bottom bolt in and then it stops it from swinging around. I'll just get a span on this back one here. The socket's not long enough, I've not brought my socket set with me. So I'm not going to tighten it all the way up. I'm just going to check that the uh, the actual bracket is level. Just put that on the edge. That's okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is actually put the television, just tighten those up and put the television on the bracket to see what it looks like. So that's the television now in place. It looks quite good there. Um, it is nice and level. I've also uh, made it so we can swing it back through the other way because there's quite a lot of uh, length on the arm there. You can actually swing it back through the other way so we can have it facing the bedroom. So we can either have it facing the front or facing the bedroom. At night, we can just put that away and close it up inside the cabinet and the telly's nice and bonny out of the way. Yeah, another job done. Thanks so, for watching. Please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you again with some more videos. Bye bye.